So I feel like I feel like there's something I need to talk about, and I feel like it's I feel like it's important. It's important. You want to know why I feel like it's important? It's because all all the time I'm watching Netflix and I'm like looking at the shows and I'm having fun with it and I'm like I'm like oh yeah sometimes I run into like a really good movie but most of the time nope nope there's nothing there is stupid everyone knows it but they watch it anyway because it is eight dollars and that is it the compromise the compromise man I think I personally think it's stupid because it's Netflix and. It's always running out of shows, there's no good shows, and then they have new episodes, but it's like two or three. If I, if I remember right, last time I, they had they had episode updates, it was like, oh, Family Guy, a little bit more Family Guy, but it was only one season, and I've already seen all the seasons, so I'm like, go through the season in one night, and I'm like, wow, that's cool, and whatever. And then they got this stupid zombie show, fucking Z Nation, and I don't like that at all, because I saw the whole thing, and I got real into it, and then right at the end, oh, mm, burned me, burned me from the inside of my fucking soul, out. And you know why? Because it was a stupid ass ending. And I have to say ass when I say that, because it's a bad ending. I, I just, nope, nope, don't watch it. I think, I think it's stupid. It leads you, it's like leading you into a dark cave with, with like a billion snakes in there. And you're like, you're like, oh yeah, dude, dude, there's like fucking million dollars in there. Just, just go, just go in there and just go, you can go get your money. And you'll be happy because you'll have money. No, no. It's like you go in the cave and you get bit. Dude, you're bit on the leg. You're fucking freaking out. You're like, ah, dude, why would you do that? Why would you lead me into a snake cave? Well, dude, it's not a snake cave. If you look above you, there's cash. No, there isn't. You're lying to me. No, no, I'm being serious. There's really cash on the roo on the ceiling. So he's like, oh, I'm going to fight for it. And he gets bit like eight times by snakes. Ah! No, I'm just kidding, but... That would be kind of funny if your friend wasn't actually your good friend to be eaten by snakes. But but it could be funny if you if you think about it in a way that is not the right way, not the right people. Like if it was just some random guy and you, it was a zombie apocalypse and you just wanted to get rid of him, you didn't like him. You're like, this guy has been on me. He's been fucking doing shit and thinking that he's cool. Well. He's really just annoying me, and I just want to get rid of him. See, but you got—you can be silent about it. You don't have to be a jerk. You could just be like, hey, you know, there's a bunch of money in there. And, I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse, so I don't need freaking money. I don't care about money. The economy's already gone, right? Right? The government's gone. So so that is the what's supposed to be told in this apocalypse, that we would say that it actually happened. But the reality of it is, is that, it's a big what if, because no one really knows, right? It's kind of like death. Who knows? Oh, we die, but certain people think we go to heaven, and certain people think that we go to hell, or we die, or we're just nothing. Purgatory. Instant nothing. You just don't see anything. I mean, my view is a lot different from other people's. I, I personally think that we go into a different spirit form, and then we're like, okay, we're in a spirit form, and we can move around. Because think about it. There's, there's been people that have proved ghosts, right? So there's ghosts that are supposed to be spirits of people, right? So if we're, if, or, or, okay, okay, let's think of it this way. What if we are reincarnated as an as a animal? So, so that's like another belief. You can be, you can be recreated as an animal. Well, how do we even know if that's really the truth? When you like pet like your friend's dog, you're like, oh yeah, dude, my grandmother died. That could be my grandmother right now. No, you don't think that. No one thinks that. And, and that that would be weird, right? You're like, oh, dude, that's fucked up. Your grandmother died, and you're just saying that. Like you're saying that to my dog. Like you think that your my dog is your dead grandmother in like spirit form. See what the hell is that? That's fucking weird. You know, I'm just thinking about that. I've been just thinking. And, you know, I'm always bored in my room, so I might as well just make some videos of me thinking. But out loud. So it's a video. So, like, magic happens. Magic. Like, if I could just sprout some... I feel like a dove. Dove. Oh, dove. But I don't have a dove. So. But anyways, no. So I think, I personally think that you come out as a spirit... And you can, like, freely roam around and do whatever you want. But you can't affect the real world because that's not possible. So it's weird. If you think about it, it's like, okay, you're in ghost land. Like, do you see other ghost spirits because you're dead also? 
because you're in that spirit form? Or, you know, that's a controversial question, like crazy. Like, no one, how can you even really know what happens after you die? I mean, people have said that they've, they've had, like, heart attack, or they, their heart would stop beating, and then they die on the, on the stretcher. So they die on the stretcher, and then they, they resuscitate them. So now, now their heart's beating again, and they're alive. Well, that few seconds when they're dead, you usually ask them, and they're like, oh, I don't know. I, I just, it didn't feel like anything. Or it felt like something, I, I felt like, I, I don't know, I don't even think there's any proof on that. It's just kind of random. You know, like, no one, no one can know about things like that. Like, I, I personally think that there is some sort of spirit world on the outside when you die, and it's completely different, and it's like another dimension. And, and that really makes sense to me, in a weird sort of way. I mean, I don't know, I, I think that you should comment what you think is the good, what do you think is your, like, perception of dying? Like, how do you think that you're gonna have when you die? Do you think that it's gonna be purgatory? Like, you're just gonna, nothing, nothing at all. Or do you believe that there's going to be some sort of actual life? Like, you're like, okay, I'm in a spirit form. Or, or that God is going to come down and be like, hey, you know, I'm here and I'm going to pick you up because you're going to heaven or you're going to hell. How, how, who can even decide that? See, see, that's just so controversial to me. But, so you know, I like opinions and, I, and I'd like to hear about your opinions. So if you guys can comment below and I'm not sounding chauvinistic or narcissistic, I'm just saying that I don't even know if those words are the right words to put in this video. Or or if that's even what I really mean. Like, like is my ego too big because I asked to comment twice? Or is my ego even bigger because I'm asking you to comment for a third time? Think about that one. Think, comment below about, about me thinking that I'm egotistical for asking you two or three times to comment. Is is my ego going up there, or is my ego going down here? Or am I learning from this experience right now? I think I think I'm twisting my own brain around too much. I, I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that if you choose to comment about you, what you think happens in life when you die, then do it. If not, don't do it. And that's okay. That's okay. Cause I'll still be your friend. You still have a friend. Be happy. Be healthy. I feel like that's a commercial. <laughs>